Hi, my name is Carl Hobbs. And I'm Tyler Babb, class of 2011. And we're here today to share with you a new project that we're working on at, at Belvedere High School. It's called Hashtag My Norm. One of the cool things about this project is it's going to be very unique, something we've never done before. And this is the perfect guy to be in charge of the filming and editing and directing the whole thing. This is Tyler Babb. And one of the reasons why I chose Tyler Babb is because I think he fits right into this program. Tyler, tell people a little bit about you during your high school years. Right. Well, I was very into filmmaking when I was little. It was a huge passion of mine. Ever since I was about six or seven, it was just something that I, I had to be involved in. I had to figure out how to, you know, how do they do this? I just wanted to be a part of that world. And um, I studied it on my own, did a lot of stuff. And then when I got to high school, I found out that I didn't really fit into any norm. I didn't fit in anywhere. So I had to figure out a way to kind of bring a little bit of me into my high school experience in order for me to kind of enjoy it, you know, because sure. I wasn't the academic stuff. I'm not super academic. I wasn't an athlete, so I had to figure out a way to make it work for me, and I took the initiative to make it work, and I found broadcast, and once I did that, I was able to enjoy my high school experience a lot more because I integrated something that I loved into my daily experience here. Excellent. So now let's fast forward to today. Mm -hmm. So now you've graduated. Um, how are you using that skill and your passion today in your everyday world? Definitely. Well, I was n nurtured here and I was able to grow here. Mm -hmm. And I think by being allowed to do that, it really helped me kind of go out and attack my dreams and, and move forward. If I had been cut off here, if I hadn't been allowed to grow and, and really accepted for who I was, I wouldn't have become the person that I am today. So, well, right now, what's cool is I'm doing a lot of music video stuff. I own my own production company, TBAB Films, and I'm um, doing a lot of music video stuff in Chicago. Uh, when I was in, I went to Columbia College. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was there, I formed a record label, independent hip hop record label. Uh, we finished up our current project, okay. and we are going to have a meeting with a management company in October. So, a lot of cool stuff is going down. Very There's cool. A lot of doors that are going to be open, and definitely within the next couple months, I'm ready to do a whole bunch of different stuff. So that is awesome. Yeah, it's the reason we're doing this project. Quite honestly, is this: listen, society tells us that high school students they're apathetic, they're lazy. Uh, most of them are out partying, getting drunk, those kinds of things. Our future is bleak. Well, we disagree. Uh, and one of the things I know from being in this in this uh, school district for over a decade. There are some amazing stories. We have a lot of amazing kids, and a lot of the amazing kids are right here in Belvedere High School. This whole program is about being your authentic self. We're not going to follow those norms and what society thinks of us. We're going to tell you stories from our own students here in Belvedere High School about the cool things that are going on and the cool people that go on. Now, you might find yourself in the situation where you might be sitting here and we might be talking and telling your story. Or you also might meet people that you never even knew were here in the building because they may not be the person that's the president of a you know of an organization or the mm -hmm. captain of a, a sport team, but they're people that are living out their authentic life and they're very passionate. And so what we like to do is to share with you our first video mm -hmm. uh, in a series of many videos called Hashtag My Norm, and this is going to be directed and produced by Tyler Babb, and I'm just here to support him because this is his creative world and he's very good at what he does. So here's the thing. We're hoping that after you see some of these, that maybe it might inspire you to actually take the place here and tell your story about your authentic self and what you're passionate about. Yes, we welcome anybody that has any sort of talent, whether it be you know, on a small scale, on a large scale, you know, helping in the community. Mm -hmm. Basically, anything that you do, we want to know about it because everybody has a story, and I feel like it's super important for people to feel like it's okay. Mm -hmm. to be who they are and I, I want to be I want to be that kind of inspiration if I can be that person that makes that other person that's kind of in in, in the corner going mm, I don't really want to I'm not going to fit in or I'm not going to be sure. accepted sure I was one of those people that I just took it and ran with it in the school accepted me for who I was and this is a place that will accept you for who you are so don't be afraid to let your light shine or, what, you know, I don't know, I'm kind of goofy. Kinda, that, was a, that was a little goofy. Kind of off the well, wall. But, but that's authentic. That's you. It is me. So this is Carl Hobbs and I'm Tyler Babb. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Samantha Rose, and my norm is doing special effects makeup. I first started special effects makeup um, in 2013, so like two years ago. 
And I actually, um, it was by accident, I started, you know, um, practicing it and stuff. I, I actually, funny story, I started like looking through like music videos and stuff for, you know, to listen to music on YouTube and I clicked on the wrong video and it happened to be a makeup tutorial. So I was watching it, I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool, you know? So I'm like, I think I have that stuff. So I went in my room and I'm like, I do have this stuff. So I tried it and I like did this cool like green zombie. I mean, it wasn't perfect obviously because I didn't have liquid latex. I used um, toilet paper and lotion, which is much easier to get off your face. So it was pretty cool. And um, I showed my family and they're like, whoa, how'd you do that? You know, like this quiet girl just comes out of her bedroom like a zombie, like, whoa, what happened there? You know, and I was just like, oh, you know, Hi. <laughs> so I showed my neighbors and stuff, and they're like, oh, that's really cool, you know. That looks like something that was on Face Off. And I was like, really? No. So ever since then, that was just like a runway. Just I just took off from there doing special effects makeup. So I got my very first little tube of liquid latex, and I was so happy. It was like the Christmas gift that I wanted since I was like knee high. Well, not really, but you know. Um, so I started practicing with it more and more. Last, um, I lost half an eyebrow, unfortunately, because I didn't quite know how to use it. But um, yeah, that was, that was fun, trying to find, you know, eyebrow pencil that matches albino. So it was cool. Um, I actually work for a haunted house doing makeup, um, RIP Productions. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of Trail of Screams, Screamatorium, you know, stuff like that. Um, I am one of the head makeup artists there, so it's pretty cool. Um, moving forward in the future with this skill, I actually want to be a mortician. So this is kind of just like my backup plan, but not really because um, accidents happen, like car accidents or something. So like the gashes and like bruises and stuff that I make on a face um, represent, well, I wouldn't say represents, but like it resembles like car accidents and like stuff like that. So it's all about like facial reconstruction and how like to fix that because being a mortician, like, it's not just embalming the body. It's the makeup, the clothes, everything to go with it. It's, so it's basically getting ready for, like, homecoming or prom, but deceased. So, I mean, it's not funny, but, yeah. Actually, um, some challenges that I had to overcome were I'm colorblind, so I can't see a lot of colors. Like, I can see dark purple and dark green and dark blue, and that's about it. So making bruises are kind of a hard thing for me, but I just figured out, I'm like, hey, you know, when I buy them, it says the color, so I just write the color on the back of it in Sharpie, so I already, like, know. And I wasn't always colorblind. I was born, like, seeing color. But as I get older, um, my eyes are getting worse because that goes along with albinism. Um, I can't really see colors. So three main colors are just dark purple, dark green, and dark blue. Those are the only ones I can really see, um, unless it's, like, blood because... You know, that's dark. So, yeah. Um, it's important to be true to yourself and unique because you don't want to be like everybody else. You don't want to be like the normal person, I guess. Like people think a normal thing is waking up, getting dressed, doing the same thing every day. No, you have to be unique. You have to find like you time, like doing special effects makeup, like that's my escape. Like um, I did bad on a test, go home and, you know, put a gash in my face, um, you know, just just fun stuff like that. And it's, it's really fun to do because you could freak people out who's like skittish. So you could like, if I were to like cut my cheek open with special effects, I could like make it talk. So that's, that's kind of the cool stuff with it. Actually, along with that, um, my mom, she's very skittish of stuff like that. So it's, it's always funny when I come out of my bedroom and she's like, oh, no, don't, don't, like, no, go away, go back, you know, take your pictures and then get it off. Um, if you were to tell my mom 17 years ago that you're going to have a daughter and she would have said, okay, cool, you know, it could happen. But if you were to tell her that she was going to be like a ballet dancer or like a doctor or a nurse or whatever, she would have said, okay, yeah, that's, that's really cool. But if you would have told her that your daughter is going to do special effects makeup and she's gonna be goth and she's gonna to wanna to be a mortician. She would have said, no way, that's not, no, that's 
well, here I am. So it, it was pretty cool. My mom is really supportive now and stuff. Like, I don't just do special effects makeup. Um, I do full, like, face painting stuff for, like, fairs and stuff for, like, little kids. So I can do, like, dogs, cats, flowers, you know, just the usual stuff that a little kid would want because, you know, a little kid wouldn't want, like, a, like, creepy, like, smile with blood. So I'm Samantha Rose. My norm is doing special effects makeup. What's your norm? <laughs>